Do you know that there are three different types of roof leaks? One, your roof only leaks during very heavy rains. Two, it leaks every time it rains. And three, it only leaks when there is prolonged heavy rain. And why does a roof leak during very heavy rain? And it's quite simple. It's an equation. And it's the water flow is greater than what the roof element can handle. Reason number one. There's no sarking under the roof. If you go into the ceiling attic when it's raining heavily, you see a fine mist of water in the ceiling cavity. And usually it's not a real problem because the mist of water gets soaked up by the insulation or even by the dust sitting on top of your ceiling. And you don't usually get water staining or a water leak underneath. Now, the problem arises where the tiles are not laid steep enough. On a low profile, on a low pitch tile roof, water cannot run down quickly enough so therefore it flows over the edges of the roof on, on the sides on a concrete tile roof it'll overflow the upstream end and you get water come in and if you've got no sarking then water will drip straight onto your roof next we've got valleys valleys usually collect a bit of debris leaves fall on it and if you don't clean it on a regular basis you'll get leaves that sit in the valley during light rain it's not a real problem the water tends to percolate through the leaves and run into the gutter and you don't get a leak but when you have a sudden heavy downpour the water hits the leaves it dries a dam and because the water cannot go to the gutter quickly enough, it overflows the sides of the valley and then suddenly you get a roof leak. The next cause is because you've got flat roof tiles. Now normally, traditionally, roof tiles have got peaks and valleys and the valleys are supposed to carry the water and drain the water away. So as a result, you get a lot less water on the edges of the tiles where you can have a leakage. Now, because of static aesthetics, the flat roof tiles that are getting more popular, they carry water uniformly across its surface. There's no drainage paths. So as a result, you've got a much higher water loading on the edge of the tile, on the water course. Not only that, when the tiles are but a wall and you have a flashing that you try to seal onto the roof tiles, it doesn't quite work because water gets in under the flashing. Then, because it's got no channel to drain the water down towards the valley, the water runs straight across under the flashing and then into your roof. So, very heavy rain, this happens. And also, especially if you've got a downpipe spreader. And talking about downpipe spreaders, you have these when you have two stories and you're trying to drain the water from the top gutter onto the bottom gutter. Now, normally during light rain, there's not a lot of water come out the spreader and the roof tiles on the lower roof will carry the water adequately. But when you get a real heavy rain, a lot of water comes down the spreaders, plus the water that directly falls on the roof. And as a result, the tiles just can't handle the volume of water. And you get leakage through the sides of the tiles and also through the upstream ends. And talking about water courses, when the water courses get dirty, uh, that's if you've got trees uh, overhanging your roof and this hasn't been cleaned off uh, for a long time, it just falls, the leaves gather into little fine uh, bits of debris, gets into your water course, and no problem in a light rain, but when a heavy rain hits, it, uh, it goes into the water course can't travel down the tile and then it overflows and then suddenly you get a leak in the house. Metal roofs. Now metal roofs fare a lot better than tile roofs but they still leak. Number one reason, corrugated roofs lay too flat. Corrugated roofs can only go down to about five degrees, lay them any flatter 
and water will have a tendency to leak into the laps. It actually goes over the lap and into the roof and there's also a chance it goes down through the screw holes. Next on roofs we've got the turn-ups. Now on a metal roof you get either get water leak through the edge which is the side lap or on the upstream end sometimes on the downstream end. Now if the upstream end is not turned up there, there's no damming effect so when you have really heavy rain water travels up the roof sheet and then it goes over the top of the roof sheet because it hasn't been turned up and suddenly you get a leak when you get heavy rain. And valleys. Valleys are the same with tile valleys. If you get blockages or if you have low pitch roof you get the same kind of leak on a metal roof. Now other roof elements that causes leaks in very heavy rain. The obvious one is the box gutter. If you have a box gutter and you don't maintain it properly and there's leaves in the downpipe nozzle the water will not drain quickly enough and as a result after a bout of heavy rain or during the heavy rain suddenly you get a deluge of water in the house and this is because the water just can't get away quickly enough and if you've got no overflow provisions this makes it worse the water f overflows the edge of the box gutter and you've got a lot of water coming into the house. Now perimeter gutters aren't quite as bad because you can see the water cascade off the edge of a an eaves gutter when you go out into the rain uh, but it doesn't usually come into the house. The exception is if you've got no eaves the water will overflow the back of the gutter and over the fascia and run across the top of the brick on the outside skin and go into the cavity. Once it's in the cavity it comes out in all the weirdest places in the house and you, and you just don't know where it's coming from. Skylights are often problematic. It's because they are not cleaned on a regular basis and leaves get caught on the under flashing and light rain not a problem it just percolates through the leaves but as soon as it gets heavy rain water's got nowhere to go forms a dam and the water then leaks over the edge of the flashing comes into the house and you get you can get a substantial amount of water come in when it rains heavy there is another category of leaks called it only leaks during prolonged heavy rain it's a lot more difficult to track down these leaks and I will post another video up and give you some insight as to why leaks only occur during prolonged heavy rain. In the meantime, cheerio, thank you very much, bye bye.